coronavirus has changed our world. It has rapidly grown from a regional health threat to a global pandemic. How to balance the trade-off between epidemic control and economic growth is a worldwide concern. The Luhan Academy developed a five-phase pandemic economy framework to analyze how this trade-off evolves. By leveraging public available big data to measure economic contraction, as well as epidemic growth information, we created the Pandemic Economy Tracker, or PET. It covers more than 130 countries and accounting for nearly 90% of global population and 97% of global GDP. By using PET, one can track the spread of the virus and its economic repercussions in near real time. Let's take a closer look. The horizontal axis represents the speed of epidemic growth. Specifically, it refers to the time it takes for a country's confirmed cases to double to its most current value. We call this doubling days. The further right on the x-axis, the better the country has contained the virus. The vertical axis or y-axis shows the level of economic activity measured using mobility data. The higher the vertical axis is the closer to economic normalcy. The top right corner of the chart is the ideal state for any country battling the coronavirus. It signifies the highest degree in terms of virus containment and economic normalcy. When the epidemic emerges in a country, the state will quickly jump to the top left area, entering the preparation phase. In pandemic economy, the objective is to bring a country back to the original ideal state. As we connect the dots daily for each country, we get a variety of pet curves, and maybe your country of interest is one of them. Take Italy as an example. There, the first case emerged in late January. After almost four weeks of preparation, the country started to respond rather late. This marks the beginning of economic contraction due to various social distancing measures. At the end of the one month long response phase, Italy's economic activity dropped by more than 25%. It stayed at around this level for 31 days. This is the troll phase. As the epidemic growth slows down and the number of daily recoveries outnumbers newly confirmed cases, it entered the recovery phase from the end of April. In this phase, the curve continues to move up and to the right until the vaccine phase arrives, when the economy will decouple from the epidemic. Using PET, we can track and compare the co-evolution of economy and epidemic between countries, from the successful Vietnam to Sweden who adopted a herd immunity strategy, as well as the United States and Brazil who are taking higher health risks in an effort to restart their economies. Globally, the number of confirmed cases has well exceeded 10 million, and the challenges are ever increasing. On the one hand, nearly half of the world are still staggering in the trouble. On the other hand, without vaccine, new waves of pandemic are expected to return to the recovery regions in the next flu season. The PET and its online interactive dashboard from the Lohan Academy provide timely support for people around the world to make evidence-based decisions to contain the coronavirus while restoring economic normalcy. We welcome your feedback as we continuously make improvement to PET.